Hello everyone, Dennis here at the Federation Shipyard coming to you with another update on the Polar Lights 1350 scale TOS Enterprise. Um, I've got uh, it all glued together now. It's all wired. Now what I'm doing is uh, sealing up the seams. What I did with, uh, before I put putty and stuff on was I, uh, where the joints, <coughs> excuse me, where the joints were, I sanded it all nice and smooth. Then I putted it. Now I'm going to sand it nice and smooth. Uh, I used my uh, uh, white putty, a squadron putty, which is right here. I used that. And I'll be using my uh, Vallejo plastic putty to fill in the smaller holes and stuff like that after I get this all sanded up, whatever needs filling. What I'm going to start with is uh, probably uh, 320 sandpaper, then go to 400 and then up to 600 to get everything nice and smooth for it. So, uh, <clears throat> I'll start sanding and when I get that just about done I'll come back and show it to you. I'll be back in just a minute or so. Alright guys, I'm back. I got one side done. This side is still got to get done. But I got this side all sanded. It feels, and the way it looks, it feels glassy smooth all the way up. Not to tell exactly if it's going to be exactly with the, have the seam hidden completely. What I'll have to do now is um, put a coat of uh, primer on top of this and primer will make any, any imperfections stand out like a sore thumb. So that's the next that's the next step. So when I get that done I'll come back and show it to you. Alright everyone. Back. <clears throat> I got it all sanded now as you can see. It's all nice and smooth. As far as I can see, I got all the imperfections out on both sides, top and bottom. So now what I got to do is uh, get some primer and put on it. I got the other engine done too. As you show it to you here. Got it all taken care of. Both sides. So what I'm gonna do now is head over to the spray booth. And get them primed up and see what you look like. And once I get them done, I'll come back and show it to you as soon as they're dry. Be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. I thought I'd just give you a quick update here. <clears throat> I got the uh, workmate cells here in the paint booth. As you can see, the fan's still running, venting all the fumes out. I want you to give it a look at it. The seam is gone. And then we'll go over to the bench and I'll show you the, the other one. So let's go and I'll show it to you real quick. Over here at the bench. Here's the other one. Got the seam all gone on it. Turned out really good. I'm very pleased with it. I'm sure that the client will be so, will be pleased with it as well. So, just wanted to give you a quick update on that, show it to you. So I'll be back in a little bit with uh, when we're all finished up here. Be back soon. All right, guys. I'm gonna show you what I got here. Got everything all painted on it. Uh, both of them actually. They're all both taken care of. I still got to glue in the poussard ends here. Probably be one of the next steps I do. But I've got all the seams taken care of. Can't see any of the seams. Uh, how I did that was I used the um, <clears throat> squadron putty. Uh, put a coat of that down, sanded it smooth until I found it. And I put a coat of primer on it. And then I used my uh, Vallejo's uh, plastic putty to put on top of that to get rid of the little nicks and stuff here and there and then sanded it again and wet sanded it and everything came out nice and smooth looks like one continuous piece so now what I plan on doing <clears throat> is getting all the pieces in here into the chiller grills and then using getting putting in the um show them to you here my uh, photo etch parts for uh, get them off the finger here right here Photo wedge parts off the for the Poussard ends here that are right here. 
and warp engine, I mean not warp engines, but the, uh, it's got the uh, impulse engines here, <clears throat> and those little panels that go on the, on the pylons, and then it comes with a nice little uh, delta shield and name, here's what you put on the stand, so those will be the next few things I'll be putting on, get everything ready for it, hang up the stuff back here, and but next what I'm going to do is uh, the end caps back here on the end of the warp engines where I've got this um, insert of a, a, a piece of sheet styrene in there to block this um, light that I put in that flickers because what I want to do since I have these all drilled out is take and put some uh, screen that I have here, black screen inside of here so that way you can't see directly into the back it'll kind of give it like a, a mesh look in there like more mechanical in there, so it's going to look kind of cool, I believe. So, I'll be working on that next. And as soon as I get that done, I'll come back and show it to you. Just hold on. Alright, guys, back. What I've got done so far is I have <clears throat> the end caps glued on. In other words, got tape on holding them nice and tight. And same with the Boussard ends. What I'll do is I'll turn on so you can see like the, the pulsing of the through the holes here. And I'll hold it up there so you can actually see it better. Yeah, let's get it closer here. There we go. You like your pulsing of power. Looks pretty good. So, so I got done now. I know what I'm gonna be working on is uh the chiller girls here get everything hooked up to that and I'll be back to show it to you as soon as I'm done with it and getting the um, uh, photo etch parts put in onto it uh, I might just have to wait on the photo etch parts until I get those painted first but we'll see how it goes on from there be right back okay guys I got all my parts <clears throat> and I'm just gonna sand off the, the little burrs on them and then we'll get them ready to put on Now what I'll do is I'll get these test fitted and go on there and then I'll come back and show it to you. Hold on. Alright guys, back. Okay, I've got the chiller grills in. The TOS engines here. Got everything glued in. Um, I don't have the uh, photo etch parts on yet. got them sitting right here though. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is um, mixing up some uh, paint and get these all painted and everything but what I'll do now is uh, give you a show here what I got it you see how, they, how they'll light up real nice give you the shadow so that way it's not so hard to see with these overhead lights turn out pretty good so that's so why I, I got both of them done the other ones will be back over here but I have that all done as well um, like I said, I just got to put the 
photo etch parts on now. And these parts here that go here. And uh, parts back up here on top. <clears throat> Gotta get these painted yet. Um, but I think that's gonna do it now for this uh, update. Um, when I, <clears throat> excuse me, when I get these parts put on and or stuff and put the um, pylons on, I'll have another update for you for that. Should be about a week or so. But uh, that'll do it for now. So uh, just keep doing what you do best. Keep building those models. Have fun doing it. And if you would, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It'd be greatly appreciated. And if you have any questions, uh, you can leave them in the comments below or you can email me. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, so have a good one and uh, hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving. See you guys in about a week or so.